Good morning, cruises. Uh, so I've got a funny story for you about something that happened uh, this week, this past weekend on Sunday, uh, and I fill you in on on what else has been going on. Uh, so first, uh, so I got some friends at the office, and their daughter was coming into town to visit, and so they really wanted to go to dinner at their favorite place to get Sunday roast, uh, which is in Kensington. I live in Marleybone. So do they. Uh, so if you've got your map out and you take a look, you know, I really need to figure out how to integrate some, some screen share stuff and, and show you some stuff on the computer at the same time. I'll work on that. Uh, in the meantime, if you take a look at your map and you look at Marleybone and you look at Kensington, you can see that what's in between the two of them is Hyde Park. It's big. It's basically a rectangle and it's green in the center of London. Uh, so we go to the pub uh, and it's nice it's a nice pub uh, we have dinner we have dessert and then we start walking back it's dark by the time we walk back because we're living in london and it's almost winter so it gets dark here around like 3 30 4 o'clock anyway we leave around 4 30 we start walking back and uh the guy's like oh hey we can cut through the park here so we start cutting through the park the gates are wide open it's no big deal so we're walking through the park but then when we head to the exit gate that he knows that we're supposed to be heading towards at this point we're, we're basically trying to cut off the northwest part of the the angle of of the park like it, it's a if you think of it as a imperfect rectangle right uh we're going from kensington in the southwest to marleybone in the northeast so we're kind of cutting across the park so we're cutting off that corner so that we're not going all the way around it but we can't get through that gate it's already locked so we start walking along and we're trying each every gate as we walk along or at least we thought we were uh but we we go along and then at some point their daughter's like hey i think i can jump the fence okay so that's her story and their story and i'm not going to get into what happened the rest of there but i will tell you what happened to the three of us that stayed inside the park we were walking through the park and there's a van up ahead it could have been any kind of van uh, kind of a smaller white van it looked like it might have been uh, i was originally guessing uh, people doing night maintenance or whatever nope okay cut cut, cut short story uh police royal royal park police they're like excuse excuse me sir you're lost i'm like yeah i guess a little bit but i you know we're just headed for the gate it's like no no you're, you're lost and uh yeah so uh you know that you're in the royal park so long story like his his wife is on the phone they're trying to get her attention to come over and talk to them she keeps saying whatever you're trying to tell them like i'm on the phone like tell us the way out and we'll be fine eventually we all began to understand it was more than just uh they were trying to tell us uh to get out um they were just so polite uh it was difficult to tell that we were in trouble they were just so polite about it just like, ma'am ma'am please please get off the phone and come and talk to myself I, yeah uh if this was america she would have been tased uh because she ignored the police like three or four times um but yeah um they took my name and my address and his name and address and her name and address and we were told that we were illegally in the in royal kensington garden so uh what i think of as hyde park the rectangle is it turns out technically like the the right two-thirds of it are hyde park and like the left third of it ish is royal kensington gardens because uh you know a duke and duchess that i don't know live in a royal palace in kensington palace in kensington gardens uh so we were trespassing in their royal backyard <laughs> and uh the police officer's way is like well it's your prerogative to know that when the uh when the park is closed and it's like we came in when it was open <laughs> didn't matter and so we didn't get upset we just let them take our name and address and he told us it happens all the time 
uh, and as long as effectively that it doesn't happen again, nothing will happen. It's just a warning. He wrote it down in his little book. I'm sure it'll go into a database somewhere. My name and address are on the official record of, you know, <laughs> likes to go into the park at dark. At dark. So I can't do it again because if my name shows up a second time, I could be prosecuted. Okay, so that was that was last Sunday because it was Sunday roast. Uh, this week I went to go see Nine to Five. Nine to Five was hilarious. It was great. It was super fun. That cast is incredibly talented. Great dancers, great singers, really good time. Uh, plus uh, video recording of Dolly Parton. And today I woke up and went to a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral. So now I've been to St. Paul's Cathedral, been to a service at St. Paul's Cathedral. That was really neat. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I'm getting ready to go to the store right now. Going to buy some stuff, cook a little bit. We've got a potluck tomorrow after hours, after work. We're going to all gather together and do Thanksgiving potluck after work. So today was is Thanksgiving, but it was just go to service and then cook. Tomorrow will be the big eating day. But yeah, I just really wanted to share with you my story of not getting arrested, but definitely having my name written down by the Royal Park Police. All right, bye.